Hi, YouTubers. It's Evan X, the video, video now. So, uh, it's going to be a very important video now. So, uh, basically, I'm going to talk about right now, uh, uh, COPPA again, the, the Child Online Privacy Protection Act. Uh, now, uh, it has been exactly one year since COPPA went into effect. I want to spend a few minutes talking about this kind of crap. So, uh, essentially, one year later, what has changed with COPPA, the Child Online Privacy Protection Act? Uh, really, not a whole lot. Uh, I mean, unfortunately, if you're a kid's creator you're really screwed because you know kids channels don't get uh, personalized ads they don't get notifications they don't get comments all this kind of crap you know it really sucks to be a kids creator you know one year later because your revenue has been you know, I would bet damn right your revenue has been significantly affected you know because of COPPA however if you're a creator like me it really has no effect on you even video game creators, and this really, really surprised me. I mean, for a better word, this fucking surprised me. Um, video game creators, for the most part, as far as I've seen over the last year, have not been affected in any real way. It really hasn't done gr jack crap to them, because I was totally expecting, you know, in November, December 2019, you know, 2020, I was totally expecting, you know, video games to be the first thing on the chopping block, because, I mean, how many kids, you know, a hell of a lot of kids, you know, play video games, I was totally expecting, you know, all Pokemon videos, you know, all videos, their video game videos, marked as made for kids, you know, come 2020. <clears throat> I was totally expecting that. I mean, I was expecting that shit because, I mean, there were so many kids, you know, so many middle school kids, high school kids that, um, you know, play video games. I was totally expecting, you know, you know, 85% of video game videos, to, you know, let's plays, you know, walkthroughs, you know, your typical 15 years old to 22 years old Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you know, channel to be marked as made for kids. I was totally expecting that because, I mean, there are so many kids that play video games. I mean, it shocked me. And I mean, I went to panic mode back in November 2019 and I went on my old, my other channel on YouTube, SE77, and I, you know, deleted all my video game videos. And I really regret it now. I mean, I totally overreacted. I mean, I was expecting, you know, the only video game videos not to be marked as made for kids would be like, you know, bloody, you know, gory, Mortal Kombat, you know, Grand Theft Auto, you know, Hitman, like, you know, really, really, you know, violent video games. Like, those are the only video games, like M-rated video games, adult-only video games marked as not made for kids. I mean, Pokemon, I was totally expecting all Pokemon videos to be marked as made for kids. I was totally expecting that shit to happen, you know, and it shocked me. I mean, if I had known back in November 2019 that um, all video game videos are safe for the most part, I never would have deleted my videos. I really regret it now. I mean, it really sucks for me now because that's years and years of work gone. So, or not really that, but you get the point. So the freaking point. Uh, um, I mean, a year later, um, everybody <clears throat> in the fall of 2019 you know, completely overreacted to COPPA. I mean, people were saying, if you so much as put the word, you know, video game or kid in your title, you will get mailed a $42,000 ticket in the mail. You will get served with a lawsuit. I mean, people totally, totally react, overreacted. People were saying, I mean, the YouTube Doomsday people were all over this bullshit. I mean, uh, they were all over this crap. I mean, uh, people were saying, it is over. YouTube is over. YouTube will die in 2020. There were so many, so many, so many, so many, so many videos back in uh, 2019. I know I'm, you know, getting a little bit, like, uh, you know, hyped up, but I mean, uh, it was freaking amazing. I mean, there were so many videos, literally hundreds, if not thousands of videos, people saying, it's over. YouTube's over. YouTube will die in the next year. Goodbye, YouTube. It's been a good 14 years. Goodbye, YouTube. Um, and yet, a year later, it's like, okay, cop is a pain in the ass, especially if you're a you know, big time, you know, kids, cre or you're not big time, if you're a kids creator, you know, you're somebody who does kids content, you know, uh, yeah, it really sucks for you, uh, and it, the only people who are really getting paid are these big company, big, big companies, you know, uh, who are getting, like, millions of views on their videos, but, I mean, yeah, it's like, you know, okay, it sucks for creators, but it's not like, you know, every week we're hearing about a YouTuber getting sued by the FTC. I mean, as far as I know, Nobody has gotten sued by the FTC. I've tried to search it on YouTube or, or Google, whatever, you know, you know, find by FTC or, you know, cop a fine, 
$42,000 fine, and I can't find a single fucking video where somebody has actually showed proof, you know, an actual lawsuit complaint, you know, actual paper, you know, freaking paper, you know, that says you are being sued by the FTC and appear in front of a court, you know, appear, appear, appear in front of a magistrate, you know, to answer, you know, you know, a lawsuit complaint. I have yet to see one person who's actually posted a video like that. There's been videos, you know, where people say, oh, I said this word and got fined, but all those videos, as far as I know, have been freaking clickbait. So uh, there's been clickbait videos like that, but as far as I know, uh, there's never been a video where somebody's actually showed proof, like an actual formal lawsuit complaint uh, um, in a U.S. district court that they've been fined by the FTC. I mean, everybody totally, totally overreacted. I mean, and yeah, a lot of videos on YouTube uh, you know, were marked as made for kids when they were clearly not made for kids, like videos like hentai, uh, like, you know, really, you know, violent or vulgar or vulgarity, you know, uh, animation shows like South Park or, you know, like um, all kinds of crap, you know, uh, Robot Chicken was marked as made for kids, Happy Tree Friends, uh, all kinds of crap, you know, there were videos about, you know, this and that, I think I thought, sorry, Jerry Springer clip that was marked as made for kids, um, all kinds of crap, I mean, it was really unbelievable how bad YouTube's bots were, yet nobody has been fined, so, which is a good thing, I mean, I'm happy that nobody's been fined by COPPA, I'm happy that nobody's, you know, losing their home and, you know, having to declare bankruptcy over COPPA, you know, but it's like, yeah, a year later, it's like, it really hasn't done jack shit to YouTube. I mean, I mean, it kind of sucks for, you know, animation, you know, small time creators, but aside from it, it's sucking for them, it's really not really that big of a deal. And I mean, for me personally, COPPA has no effect on me. It has no effect on my channel because I don't do animation crap, you know, I don't do animation content. Uh, all my videos are either, you know, for a general audience or age re restricted, you know, so it doesn't really do jack crap to me, you know. Um, and also people, you know, I, like I've discussed before, you know, people really freaked out about the fine because the fine is not $42,530. The fine is, you know, based on how much you make. Um, you make up to $5, it's up to a $5 fine. That was something that was really blown out of proportion because all the videos were saying the fine was $42,000 when in reality the fine is based on how much you make. You make up to $100, up to a $100 fine. You make up to a $1,000, up to a $1,000 fine. Or if you're a company, what is the financial condition of your company? So uh, that's something where almost every video was, was you know, fucking clickbait. So uh, anyway, I'm just rambling at this point, but um, one year after COPPA, it really hasn't done jack crap to YouTube. So, uh, I mean, it really hasn't done much. So, uh, I mean, I totally overreacted. I think every YouTuber way overreacted. I mean, it's unfreaking believable. So uh, anyway, um, one year after COPPA, um, pretty freaking cool. Bye.